All right, hello everyone. This is a update video for some of my teas. I haven't posted anything in a while, so I wanted to make sure I got something up this week. Um, all these teas you see here, I'll get to in a minute, uh, letting you know what's going on. But first, I want to start the video off, video off by saying that I'm going to be uploading only once a week now, instead of two or three times a week. I've been a lot busier lately, and um, my collection is getting bigger, so I have more stuff to talk about, and uh, some stuff interesting, some stuff isn't. Uh, you know, when I'm filming, I kind of just film and I edit it all together. So from this point on, every Friday I'm gonna upload um, a week's worth of updates in the one video. It might be three minutes long, it might be 15, depending on what happens in that week. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and film and when I regular get a chance and it'll be a little bit different format from what you're seeing the videos I mean there'll be um, commentary on it instead of me talking on the video because I've also have a three-year-old son and a lot of noise around here so um, I can film more if I don't have to worry about noise so I'd probably most likely be putting together a video and then doing commentary on it releasing it every Friday and it'll be called uh, the tarantula cloud because clouds cover everything so everything will be covered underneath the, this cloud in the video so it'll be called the tarantula cloud the first one should be up next week I'm still working on the format and everything alright so this video here is uh, we're gonna go in order here I got a three slings and a malt here we're gonna start with this one this is the death of my Kilobrachys fembratus the Indian Violet, she passed away. Uh, as you know, that they are arbore arboreals, <laughs> they're burrowers, and she burrowed down in there, made too tight of a funnel, and she molted and died because she, I'm, I'm guessing she got stuck, and somehow it was just a freak accident. She just passed away, so um, that sucks. I didn't have her that long, I only had her maybe a couple months. Uh, three months tops and she was a really sweet tea but I never saw her she was a pet hole went in the uh, pre malt as soon as I got her so um, didn't really get a chance to get really attached to her but uh, I'll get another one someday uh, I'm not really overly um, upset about it because oh, if we go over here this is gonna be nice I have another pet hole and I can't believe this. What luck, she's out right now. This is my Haplopama albotriatum, the Thailand zebra. This is Pegasus. And this is the first time I've ever caught her on film out in the open. This is awesome. I can't believe this just happened. She never comes out on the substrate at all. And she's been wandering around out here lately. She's a lot bigger than I remember her. I haven't seen her in a long time since I rehoused her in, into here. But that's awesome that she's out walking around. That is really cool. Yeah, Thai Zebra out walking around. Can't believe it. Alright, uh, back to the video here. So that's why I'm not really eager to get another pet hole. They're, they're cool, but they're hard to take care of if you don't um, get them set up just right. And I knew that she had spun a web too small for herself. She was kind of cornering herself, and every time I would open it back up, she would just spin the web tighter and tighter. So I eventually kept tabs on it to make sure that she wouldn't uh, get stuck in there. And apparently she did, and she died, and she was completely molded over. Uh, it was It sucked, so... That was my uh, Fembratus, Kilobrachus Fembratus, she died. But I got lucky that day, I went to go get some uh, Eco Earth substrate, and somebody in the pet store uh, wanted to know how I set up these arboreal uh, types out of Critter Keepers, the smaller variety, and these. And I went ahead and set up a display for them in the stores, in the exotic pet store, which I get most of my slings from, and in return, he uh, gave me another Grammar Solar Poker Peas, Choco Goldeny, 
free of charge with uh, 50 crickets and an enclosure which I haven't used yet all for 20 minutes worth of work so that worked out because I was really wanting another Chaco and there she is in there her name is Star my wife named her we couldn't figure out a name for her and we were thinking and thinking and my wife looked up the uh, Star Wars poster and said what about Star and I said fine good enough so his or her name is Star and I got her the exact same day that my Kilo Brackies died so um, that was absolutely awesome uh, so I got her as a new addition and today I just picked up well I didn't pick up they came in the in the, through the mail I'm not gonna open these up I'll let you peek through here because it's not really much to see if you look right in there that's an Afona Pelma Simani. It's a Costa Rican zebra. And I named her Ink, as in ink from like an ink pen. And got her today. And we also got down here, which is going to be hard to see. Let me get this out of here. Should have pulled her up here. I actually pulled out the wrong enclosure. This is a Stromata Pelma Calciatum put her in a 32 ounce deli container from a, from her pill jar she's getting a little bigger and in here which I don't know if you're gonna be able to see her oh there she is that's a Nandu Carapanensis the Brazilian red and I got both of these today came through the mail ordered them through uh, Swift Inverts highly recommend them if you haven't bought from them and Finally, in this video, we have a malt, and let me just turn this around here, and that's from my, let's see what the best angle is here, Avicularia Avicularia. This is Luna, my wife's tarantula, well I call her her tarantula, but she doesn't really do anything but look at her. She finally molted after being in pre-molt for at least four months. Heavy pre-molt for at least four months. She fasting, not eating that much, and when she did eat, she discarded most of it. All right, so I got the molt out. It's right over here. And she looks like she's doing great, which is good. She already has some water in there. And... I'm going to give her a little bit more humidity so she can get a drink and not have to come down to our water bowl. And she looks amazing. Alright, I got a measurement on her and she came out to exactly 4 inches on this uh, exoskeleton. She had to have done it just a little bit ago. Still very moist. And she looks like she just came out of there, so that's great. I would have loved to have gotten this on film. So that sucks that I didn't. But she's awesome. Alright, so we'll leave her alone. I'll feed her in a week, like always, after a molt. And we'll check her progress and see... Uh, get her out of here and... Let her stretch her legs a little bit and I can get a better measurement on her. Alright guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.